Perfect. So a very warm welcome to everyone. Um, glad you could all join us here today. And also a thank you to all of our uh, project liaisons, advisors, and also team members. Uh, without your support, it would have been completely impossible to even have something deliverable as what we have now. Uh, to introduce all of my team members, uh, myself, my aunt, and I was the team lead for uh, this project. We have Ben, Doug, Prerock, and Leonardo. So working alongside Jovian for the past nine months or a year almost um, has taught us a lot of uh, in interesting material and also given us a great perspective on what we're supposed to expect when we step out in the real world. To give you a much more context and a background on what the project is, we have been working with uh, integrating Jovian, uh, Jovian, the Python package library with uh, Jupyter uh, Lab and Jupyter Notebook. So what does the Jupyter Lab or the notebook environment sort of look like? So here you have a, no a Python notebook that's been created in Jupyter Lab, where you have markdown um, cells, code cells, and also output cells. As you can see that um, ha it gives you a really interesting way to see your output right away once you execute a line of code and to interact with them if necessary. Now what we have come up with is a one-click solution to have upload these Python notebooks to the Jupyter, uh, to the Jovian platform. As and also another way to do it was to import the Jovian library and to hit it and to execute a line of code, which was jovian.commit to save and upload these projects to the, jo uh, the Jovian platform. As I mentioned, as we have come up with a one-click solution, which was just clicking a button and there you go. The project has been uploaded to Jovian. So what exactly is Jovian? So it's a platform for data science projects where it provides you features such as tracking, collaborating with different uh, people and also on different projects and also automating your projects. It also gives you a unique ability in some cases to even um, have, a, uh, have your hyper parameters of some uh, uh, lear uh, machine learning algorithms to be monitored and also um, have them in check. It's not only a great tool for machine learning and data science engineers, but also for students as we get a unique ability to share and showcase our projects. The goal of this project was to develop an integrated solution that utilizes the open source Python library Jovian that works in conjunction with the platform Jovian.ml. As I mentioned earlier, it would give us a one-click solution to upload our projects to the platform instead of executing a line of code every single time that we had an update to this to the notebook or to the Python notebook. It would also provide users with more control options on how they want their projects to be uploaded, whether they want their environments to be reproducible, et cetera, et cetera. It would also give us a seamless interaction, uh, integration of all the feature set that the Jupyter ecosystem has to offer and also what the Jovian Python package has to offer. To approach this project, first we needed to have a core understanding of what the Python package uh, is, the Jovian Python package is about and how it all kind of ties up with the platform. We also acted in research throughout, the, uh, throughout this project to give us a better, uh, perfect ideal solutions that we could incorporate that was elegant and also simple. It also meant that we had to now understand key components of the Jupyter Notebook and Lab environment to aid our development. So to expand to the Jupyter's ecosystem, an ideal solution that, uh, that was brought up was to have a Jupyter extension. Now what an extension is, is a simple add-on that adds more functionality to the Jupyter notebook and the lab. It could be something as simple as a table of contents menu to something as complex as a code snippet menu where you can use your mouse to actually write code for you. And this would give us a great ability to use the, use the Jovian Python library instead of coming up with the solution from ground up. Now I would like Doug to explain you more about what the extension is, sort of. All right. So uh, the Jovian extension, when installed on the Jupyter Lab or Notebook, will have that uh, commit button at the top. When pressed, it will send the file with the data, the graphs, and the pictures to the Jovian website and it will store it as is. Now every time, uh, Every time you press that button, a window will pop up so telling you that it is committed. Uh, and on the first time you commit the file, it will store it. Uh, it will ask for an API key. And the window will uh, conveniently have 
uh, link to the Jovian website to get the API key and allow you to start committing as you please. Now, every time you commit, uh, the file will be stored as a new version and on the Jovian website and allow you to review your changes or retrieve uh, previous versions if you want to. Now, this is where we started and we started creating, uh, among other things, a drop down on the side of the commit button, uh, commit with options, opening a sidebar and a setting menu. Uh, now functionally, the commit button is a function with default blank parameters. Instead of having the users look up the commit parameters and type them out, or worse, never know that they exist at all, uh, commit parameters gives you all the possible commit parameters as well as hints on how to input them correctly. Now, at the bottom, you, uh, there's a blue, blue button there, and when you click on it, it will set all the input parameters and commit you to Jovian using those parameters. Now, other functionality we've added includes a sidebar, sharing capabilities, and the settings module. Now, these are pretty straightforward buttons. Uh, set default parameters will bring up a very similar window as shown before. However, the blue button at the bottom will not commit using those parameters immediately, but simply saves them for use on any future commits. Then there's the clear API key, which will uh, clear your key if you want to send the file to someone else, not having them commit to your Jovian account or send, or so you can send it to someone else's Jovian account, whatever you would need to have a clear API key for, all it would prevent you from doing is uh, committing. As on commit, it will check for a key and ask for one if one is not set. Uh, changing the API key simply cuts out the time in between clear API button and trying to commit again, as it will drop the old key and ask for a new one right away. And then this, the disable this extension button will do exactly that and no more. Jovian will still be installed, but the extension will not be active on the lab or notebook, taking the sidebar commit button and the drop down with it. Now, just before the page is reloaded to reflect the new state of things, a message will pop up with line of code to run in the lab or notebook to reactivate the extension. And now for the sharing capabilities. Hi, this is Leonardo. After you have committed your notebook to Jovian ML, you will be able to use the share module. The share module provides you with three buttons that generate an URL to your current notebook. This URL is used to share your notebook in social media. The three share buttons available are Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Your friends will be able to access your notebook instantly. Another module or routine was responsible for is the sidebar module. It is a combination of share module and a couple other features. And these features are version control and collaborator tool. Version control allows you to look at older versions of the notebook and keep track of the changes that you have been making. And collaborator module allows you to see who else is contributing to the current notebook. Working on this project for the past year, our team was able to accomplish multiple tasks. We have been working on both Jupyter notebooks and Jupyter labs simultaneously. We have been able to implement all the four required modules, and we have also documented all the progress we have made so far and updated the developer's guide and end user's guide. Um, to implement the project, there are three languages we must use. We use JavaScript and Python to develop the extension in Jupyter Notebook. But for Jupyter Lab, it only allows developers to write code in TypeScript. So we have to use TypeScript and Python for the development in JupyterLab. The structure of the project has been separated into two parts, the front end and the back end. Because the project depends on the Jupyter system, the front end will handle the registration and activation of our extension in the Jupyter system. It also handles and normalizes the user inputs and some events. The back end, we handle the communications between the end users and Jovian servers because most functionality of our project involves a server. Other than that, we use one 
JavaScript library named jQuery to form the UI for interacting with users. There are also some useful tools we use to create R for the development. Kanda is the one we use for, to create our virtual environment for the development. We use NPM as our package manager and the project builder. Git and GitHub we use for the version control of our project. Why we were developing? We have met some challenges. The biggest one is to understand the, the Jupyter system. Because both Jupyter Notebook and Jupyter Lab are huge systems, they do have well designed layouts or structures. So, if we want to create an extension, we must learn, um, we must use the proper APIs that were provided by the Jupyter system. That means you need to learn at least some parts of this huge system. For example, if you are creating an iOS application, you will need to learn at least how to use Xcode and switch UI or UI key for developing your app. Learning new things is not easy and it requires so many patience. Luckily, thanks to Jupyter system and Jovian are open source. There are so many developers sharing and contributing to the communities. So we can benefit from this. For example, if we would make a question such as how to register and activate a simple button in the Jupyter lab, we can search the answer from the community. If it's not there, we can ask for help and it usually gets replied soon. If we still cannot solve it, we can even read the source code to see the detail inside the program because they are all open source. Our liaison's Jovian team also has a data science community in this community, people share and cooperate with each other by using Jovian. As the extension developer, we can get some very useful feedback from these users and it helps us better improve our project. After we benefit from the open source, we have also become members who contribute to the community. During the development of the project, we have learned many new things. So we document the key points, frequently use comments, and some basic examples for the thing we learn and share them with each other. This helps us better understand this new knowledge. We also create some useful modules and share them with the community. For example, when users use JupyterLab, the JupyterLab system will open multiple kernels in one page. If a extension developers wants to detect and connect to the kernel of the current notebook, that would be so difficult without writing so many helper functions. Therefore, we created and shared a module to help developers take care of this. <clears throat> Hi, I will talk about industry standard tools and how each tool help us to complete our project. The first three tools help us with communication. We use Zoom for our weekly meetings with license Dropbox paper was used to maintain a weekly agenda. In through Slab, we communicate with, directly with license and other team members to resolve any obstacles. The remaining tools assist us with developing our project. Our choice of IDE was Visual Studio along with Code for Matter Prettier. And GitHub is where we host our projects and with the virtual control system Git, we created our individual branches. Also through Dropbox paper, we were provided with video tutorials to the new programming languages that this project required. We were also provided with other resources. We were assigned responsibilities and we updated our progress each week. This was helpful in keeping track of the project. Um, teamwork has been a key part for this project. Working as a team, we constantly share useful tutorials and resources with each other, and we also keep track of our report to figure out where we stand against deadlines and other requirements. And also, for example, when I first started, I had no clue about Jupyter Platform, and being um, shared useful tutorials and resources helped me learn the environment faster, which enabled me to work on the project 
And also, if you are stuck, we have any questions, you could visit our platform at jovian.ml and to read our docs on how to install the extension, you could visit jovian.ml slash doc. And also, if you like to visit our open source code, you could visit the following link on GitHub. To summarize everything throughout this project, you've gotten great feedback even from the Jovian team and also uh, throughout users that who have been using uh, the Jupyter no uh, Lab in the Notebook ex uh, extension. Um, so here's an example of what the Jovian team had to uh, give us feedback on in our implementation of the extension. Um, with that being said, uh, this marks the end of the presentation. And uh, if you guys have any questions, um, please feel free to ask throughout. Um, and thank you for joining us. Thanks, guys. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yes. Hey, this is Alok. Uh, uh, hey, hey, Mayank and Prerak and uh, Doug and uh, Dinga and Leonardo. Great, uh, great presentation. Uh, uh, one question for you guys. Uh, uh, give, given what you know now about the implementation and the process and, you know, um, if you were to start over the project, what would you do differently? You know, so what was your learning over the past year that, you know, uh, that made you sort of smarter and more experienced in sort of real world product development? And what would you have uh, kind of done differently if you were to start over from day one? Yeah. Um. Uh, I think what what might have what I would have done personally differently throughout working this project is to understand key components first rather than actually understand them uh, while I was actually building on top of them, um, which kind of hindered my performance in the beginning as I wasn't familiar with all the key components of the Jupyter Lab system and or the, even the notebook system as they're really WASP systems and they're interconnected with so many different APIs that, um, and on how each system sort of talks to each other. But that's one of the key uh, things that I take away from it is to understand completely on what sort of uh, environment that I'm working through and then start um, a process of uh, going through uh, and developing on top of it. Got it. Thanks, Mank. Anybody else? Any any other thoughts? Any other learnings uh, from the whole process that uh, you know you would have done differently, uh, both both for yourself as well as well as for the liaison as well as for the professors. Any sort of learnings uh, you know that that you know we could have done differently. Bingnan, you were saying something? Couldn't hear you. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, I think uh, I I don't I don't know because most of the knowledge like for developing um the farming extension I have learned before. So uh maybe if I have I can stop um at the day one I will I will try to I don't know <laughs> but because uh. Um, I don't know because most of the knowledge for the extension I have learned before, so I'm Got it. fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to answer it now. Yeah. All right. Cool. No good presentation. Um, you know, I'm glad you guys uh, enjoyed it and learned something. And I think uh, in a real world collaboration is, uh, as you probably know, the more complex system you you, yes. you cannot write the whole code alone. So you have to collaborate, right? And, and this is sort of one of the key aspects of the learning was how do you collaborate in a real world environment, right? Yeah, definitely. In the beginning when we were working through on how we were gonna collaborate with each other, um, we figured out a way that rather than, you know, assigning tasks to each member, um, what about we give responsibilities to each member? So it's much more of a coherent way of them putting in a lot more effort to completing it versus them relying on uh, team members to, you know, sort of uh, fill in the gaps in there. I mean, definitely at the end of the day, uh, team members still, do still fill in the gaps, but uh, 
it makes everyone more productive in that sense that now they're responsible for this entire part of this uh, huge development that yep <laughs> makes sense makes sense uh, akash any any point uh, you know feedback from you uh, or or anybody in your team yeah yeah definitely. yeah so thanks a lot and thanks uh, thanks team for the presentation that was uh, uh, really wonderfully delivered and uh, overall you know as as you can read here uh, we we are quite happy and the users are quite happy with the result uh, i think would be would be interesting if you could also talk a little bit about a uh, one working with open source software going through documentation etc right. and then uh, second uh, writing documentation yourself and what what you learned from the process uh right um i think uh, i think we've uh, like in general like talking to you as well while uh, working throughout this project and even like prajwal um we all have encountered this a million times uh, for those of you who didn't know about this is was that the jupyter notebook and the lab uh, uh documentation are sort of incomplete or even they're uh some of them are very ambiguous in terms of like what do what are they trying to explain or what type of system that they're trying to use um and stuff like that so it was really it was really complicated in the beginning to even understand on what exactly was happening even their pro provided examples didn't cover most of the part but it, they only covered like uh basic functionalities of how everything sort of works um so so that's when we had to actually go through all of its source code and um uh have its community kind of sort of help us a lot in terms of understanding of what the system sort of looked like and also how it worked um and in terms of uh you, you i mean using the jovian python package library i mean akash prajwal and all of the team members have done a great job in terms of documenting it um so we really didn't have a lot of trouble understanding on what was going on so that was sort of a difference in terms of documentation that we went through um and also it gave us a really uh, great uh template from uh, uh from the jovian's open source python libraries to on how documentation should be done um and also to save time during uh using document like during documentation rather than you know you could actually write documentation while you're writing your code in um so that you know at, once you're done you can automatically publish it or um you know go over the documentation and correct it later on um so that was like one of the key takeaways in terms of documentation i think that we all can uh, take out yes i guess i can assert for that as i've i've gone through the code the code reviews of your uh, git pusher so i can assert to for that as you documented well by knowing the pain of going through the source code yourself you have documented it well so that it it made my job easy for the code reviews as well at the same time it would be helpful for anyone who is contributing to the project on a later stage definitely thank you yeah, actually i also want to say that uh to me th this is like the maybe one of the most or maybe the most beneficial project i have advised so far so uh, i can see that you uh, our jovian sponsors alok and akash and pajwa you, you guys bring the industry standards to our students i think this is a great experience for them so as you mentioned earlier they they learn the the new standards in industry about how to documentation and how to collaborate with each other i think this is very uh, uh good experience for them before they go to the go to industry before they start their career so i think this is the most beneficial project so far so i really appreciate your sponsor and also the, uh, the partnership with our students and the yeah. no thank you thank you professor zilong i uh, you know we appreciate it too and hopefully we can do more projects in the future in the coming academic year as well right and i think uh, given this scenario where everybody is working distributed right i think that was another sort of learning both for jovian team for me as well as hopefully for the students that you can still be productive even if you are in a distributed team right uh, spread across the world and that is how most of software development in large companies uh, are done today right uh, so so that that you know hopefully we can continue the partnership yeah yep. yes thank you thank you so much for all joining us um yeah. this is so to add a few words to what jilong said 
this is a wonderful example for our students to show them uh, how to apply what they learn from the classroom. 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 Not really even close to what uh, is uh, conducted in the industry. So that with this wonderful project, students get to taste what it looks like about in terms of enterprise system, or in terms of cooperating, in terms of how to document properly. So, so that, I think this project provided students with a wonderful experience. So thank you very much for this project. It's a wonderful project. This is an ideal example for how we can cooperate between industry and academia. Thanks, Dr. Lin. Yep. Uh, yes, Dr. Pramu, oh, thank you. Would you say something? No, I think oh, okay. it's a good presentation all around, okay. and I've been listening into all the presentations and all the projects are a learning experience for the students anyway. I think the senior design is the key capstone experience that the students are having nowadays. And I think yeah, you all did a good job. Thank you, thank you. And that's thanks that's also Alok to and the team, from Jovian. Uh, next year. Yeah. Thanks, Dr. Pamula. Yeah, yes. hopefully we'll get some more projects. Yeah. And actually, I think Sue is already compiling the projects. So if you can send it to Dr. Lim, <laughs> she's already smiling. <laughs> sure, sure. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Um, so definitely, um, it was a wonderful experience working through and um, Hope we can still actually contribute, even though, like, I, I mean, if it's still an open source project. It would be really great, like, if we can still uh, contribute to this project throughout um, and just improving the community in general. So, no, absolutely, Mayank. That's the beauty of open source. It goes yes. into your resume, right? The GitHub URL you have is your resume in some yes. sense, right? You can yes. keep adding to this project or other open source projects, and that is, you know. And, and hopefully you stay in touch, stay in the Slack group, uh, yes, stay in definitely. touch with the folks, uh, applies to everyone else, right? I mean, it's a, it's a global, global distributed team, right? Yes, so, definitely. Yeah, ho hopefully, you know, uh, folks stay in touch as you go, go about, you know, doing your own thing in the future. Yeah, yeah. Yes, definitely. Also, the team too is good to uh, team up with Alok because he has good openings all the way around in terms of job opportunities and so on. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please reach out to me if, if you are, you know, sort of uh, uh, looking for gigs. Uh, happy to connect you with, uh, I mean, I know a lot of startups, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, obviously, you know, in this environment, it's a little more challenging, but uh, happy to, happy to help in whichever way I can. Yeah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> perfect. Um, okay, great. Yeah. Great. Yeah, great job. Well done. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Perfect. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you for See joining you us, guys. and um, yeah. I hope See you all you. staying safe. <laughs> yep. See you. Okay. Take thank care. You so much. Take thank care, you. everyone. Um, bye. 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 All right. Bye. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Stay safe. Yes.